Hello, and welcome to TMC's How To Demo Series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you can't find the demo you're looking for, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to finish our look at basic jobs in Dynamics 365 BC. In part one of this jobs video, we covered the basic components of the jobs module, the resources, the jobs, and the tasks. Now we turn our focus on updating and completing a job in Business Central. My name is John Hoyt, Solution Specialist for TMC. Let's get started. In this video, we will update and then complete a job in Business Central, including entering time against that job and creating the sales invoice. Let's see how this works. In my Business Central system, I'm logged in again as the project manager. I've navigated to my jobs list, and I'll select the job I need to update. In this case, we're going to update the reception area remodel job. And as you can see, there's a lot of job tasks associated with this particular job. Its status is still set to open, and that gives me the ability to go in and maybe do something like change the date for one of the final lines. In this case, I'll edit my list. I'll use the date picker for the planned delivery date, and I'll update that to the 30, 31st of the month. I can save my changes. I can now go back and make other updates, whether that's to a budgeted amount or a billable amount or add additional job tasks if that's what's required. With all my updates completed, my document saved, I can navigate first back to the jobs list, and then I'll navigate back to the home page. As part of updating a job, one of the activities would be entering time. In the Business Central system, you can either enter time for yourself if you have a Business Central license, or you can set up the jobs module to allow for a manager to enter time on behalf of their team. Here I'll open my timesheets. I have an open timesheet currently for Linda. I can open that and review that, make any changes. Here you can see the start and end dates, the period that this timesheet covers, the status of the different lines, and the jobs that she is scheduled to work on during this time period. And maybe she sent me an update to let me know that the initial consultation only took five hours and that allowed her to spend some additional time doing consulting work. I can go in and put that time. Over on the right hand side, I can see the timesheet status and the total hours entered against budgeted amounts for those time periods, et cetera. I would then be able to back out of that timesheet. I'll return back to that job now because I'm getting ready to complete that. So I'll go to the jobs list. I'll pull open the job. Now the first thing I want to do is calculate and then recognize WIP. So I'll go to my WIP dropdown. I can choose to calculate WIP based on all the updates that have been made whether that was done by time entry or at a job task line, maybe the consumption of items that have been designated or a resource performed work, whatever type. Once I've calculated WIP, I'm then ready to post that WIP to the GL entry. The existing WIP entries and the existing WIP GL entries are available as a reference if I need to drill back on those. If I return back to the list of jobs, I'm now ready to create invoices for all that calculated WIP and all the up-to-date jobs. Do that at the process level, where I can simply go through and create a sales invoice for either a single or a whole list of jobs at one time. OK. In this video, then, we walk through the update of an existing job. We entered time against that job and then completed the job by calculating WIP and preparing that for invoicing. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below.
I'll do my best to answer your comments. And if you need any immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, www.abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.